Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa and today I'm gonna be sharing with you my Reading Rush TBR. So if you are unaware, the Reading Rush is taking place in the month of July, running from the 20th to the 26th. And this is gonna be my first year participating, so I'm like really, really excited. There is seven tasks and I have picked out three, maybe four books if I have time. I wanna share them with you guys today. So I made a spread in my bullet journal dedicated to the Reading Rush and let me show it real quick. So this is all the tasks and this is my TBR. And yeah, let me read off all the tasks and then I'll share with you the books I'm gonna read. So the first, I don't know if I'm gonna like put them up on the screen or if I'm just gonna read them. I feel like just reading them sounds a little stupid, but we'll see. The first task is read a book matching the color of your birthstone. Number two, read a book that starts with the word the. Three, read a book that inspired a movie you've seen. Four, read the first book that you touch. Five, read a book completely not in your house. Six, read a genre that scares you or your least read genre. Seven, read a book that takes place on a different continent. And I love these tasks. I think they're super creative and super fun and a little challenging to pick out your books if we're being honest. So like I said, I picked out three books and let's just dive in. So this first book works for either four or three of the tasks, depending on how much time I have. And that is The Kaiser's Last Kiss by Alan Judd. This book works for the tasks of read a book starting with the word the, read a book that inspired a movie you've seen. This is actually the exception. It is on Netflix and I did try watching it a little while ago and I only got like halfway through so I need to rewatch it and watch the whole thing. But what I did watch was pretty, pretty good. This also works for read the first book that you touch and I interpreted this task by when I learned of all of these tasks, I looked at my bookshelf and this was the book that was calling out to me. So I grabbed it and that was the first one I grabbed. And this one also works for read a book that takes place on a different continent. This does take place on Europe, I think in Germany. So yeah. This book is about in Nazi Germany, how the SS kind of like guarded the Kaiser's house. And so there's this one SS officer who gets a little too close to a maid, if you know what I'm saying, and he finds out that that maid is Jewish. So he kind of has to reassess all of his morals because obviously all the SS are doing the exact opposite to Jews and it's not good, it's not fun. So she's kind of like scared, she knows she put herself at risk, but he also is like, this is not a bad person. Why does she have to die and all this stuff? So I think that this will be a really interesting take. This is a fiction book and it is only 205 pages. So it's not a big book at all. And I'm hoping I get to read this fairly quickly. I am a very slow reader. So we'll see how this whole TBR works out. I'm a little stressed out, but it's cool. The next two books I have on this list, I don't have physically yet. They're still at the library and I gotta go pick them up. But that is Are You Listening by Tilly Walden, I think is who is by. And this is a graphic novel. This one works for read a book, not inside your house. I have a little patio in my backyard and I'm just gonna pull out a chair, read it back there. And this, like I said, is a graphic novel and I don't know what it's about. From the cover, I'm guessing maybe a road trip. And I think there is LGBTQ plus representation in here. So that'll be super fun to read about. Like from the cover, I really like the animation style and it seems like a really good book. I don't know, it doesn't have the best ratings on Goodreads, but we'll see, I'll have to give it a try. And the next book I have is Tell No One by Herlin Coben. I think I'm saying that right. And this one works for read a book matching the color of your birthstone. My birthstone's red. It kind of works, not really. We're just gonna say it works. I don't exactly remember the name of my birthstone. It's either Ruby or Sapphire. I get mine confused with January. So I have one, January's the other one, but yeah. And this one also works for the task of read a genre that scares you or your least read genre. This one is both a uh, horror, scares me, and my least read. I have never read a horror book besides A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness and that is YA, so I don't really know if that counts. All I really know about this book is I think it's about this man and his wife dies and now he's seeing her. I could be totally wrong on that. I don't want to know too much going into it because it is a horror and I don't want to be spoiled. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one. And the book I picked out if I miraculously finish all of these books and have time to read another one is Beastly by Alex Flynn. This works for read a book that inspired a movie you've seen. Obviously this is Beastly. 
And yeah, I love the movie. I own the movie. I've watched it many times. I have the book and I have never read the book. So if y'all do not know, this book is about this guy and he is handsome or whatever and he thinks that looks is all that matters. He thinks no one will like a person who is ugly. So he's narcissistic, he's self-centered and all that shebang. Finally, a witch gets tired of his crap and places a spell on him to make him look ugly and he has one year to find someone who actually likes him for him and says I love you. And he thinks that's impossible, no one likes you, they only like looks and all that crap. But then this girl comes along and actually does like it for him and breaks a spell, you know, little beauty and the beast. And um, yeah, I love the movie like I said and I'm excited to read this book if I have time. We'll see. I will be vlogging the reading rush. I don't know if I'm going to do like a whole weekly vlog or maybe I'll put like two, like half of the week and then half of the week. I definitely won't be doing daily vlogs because that is too much of a commitment. But if you guys don't want to miss that, definitely subscribe, turn on a post notification, all the good jazz. And if you are participating, let me know what you all are reading. I'm really interested because I think these tasks can be interpreted in a lot of different ways. So let me know. But that's all I have for today. I feel like a newscaster. I'll see y'all next time. Stay safe and I love you.